Technical editors play an important role in SPE's mission to disseminate technical information. They serve as gatekeepers, ensuring that only the highest quality papers are published in SPE's peer-reviewed journals. The objectives of this video are to help you, as the reviewer, learn the basics of how to evaluate a technical paper, understand what is expected of you in your role as a technical editor, and familiarize yourself with the SPE review process. SPE publishes five discipline-specific journals, SPE Drilling and Completion, SPE Economics and Management, SPE Production and Operations, SPE Reservoir Evaluation and Engineering, and Oil and Gas Facilities. SPE also publishes one journal focused on theoretical research, SPE Journal, and one journal focused on regional research, the Journal of Canadian Petroleum Technology. The Editorial Review Committee consists of the executive editors and the associate editors of each journal. Technical editors will work closely with the associate editors to complete and submit reviews. The editor-in-chief is the leader of the committee and has oversight of all peer-reviewed journals. The peer review process involves the following steps. 1. An author submits a paper to a selected journal for peer review. 2. The executive editor examines the paper and makes an initial decision on its suitability for review. He or she may immediately decline papers that do not appear suitable either because of scope or quality. Otherwise, the executive editor will assign the paper to an associate editor with appropriate technical expertise. 3. The associate editor assigns three or more technical editors to provide a detailed review of the paper. 4. The technical editors review the paper and provide specific comments in support of their recommended decision. 5. Once the technical editors have submitted their reviews, the associate editor reads them and makes a recommendation to the executive editor, ensuring that adequate comments supporting that recommendation are provided. 6. The executive editor examines the reviewer comments and the associate editor recommendation and makes a final decision to approve the paper as is, to accept it with minor revisions, to ask the author to revise and resubmit the paper for consideration, or to decline the paper. 7. Should the author decide to revise the paper, he or she must submit a revised manuscript that addresses the reviewer's comments. 8. When an author submits a revised manuscript that has had minor revisions, the executive editor evaluates whether the author has made the requested changes and issues a final decision on that paper. For manuscripts that require more extensive revisions, the executive editor will assign the paper to the original associate editor for review. An author has many motives for writing and submitting papers to SPE. These include gaining professional recognition and contributing knowledge to the industry, being recognized by his or her company, organization, or academic institution, and achieving personal satisfaction. The author's expectation is that you, as a technical editor, will make a fair and timely decision and will keep his or her work confidential. By the same token, you will have expectations of the author, namely, that he or she will write a clear, coherent paper that will be of interest to the journal's readers, will present a novel concept, and will include facts to support it. As a technical editor, you should have a number of qualifications, including a broad understanding of current technologies in your discipline. You should also be active in your field, have past technical accomplishments and past experience participating in symposia or conferences, have experience as an author yourself, and be willing to spend time supporting the SPE review process. You will have multiple responsibilities during your time as an SPE technical editor. Technical editing requires strong organizational skills and sufficient time to read, acknowledge, and answer emails and meet review deadlines. If you cannot meet a deadline, notify the associate editor as soon as possible so the paper can be reassigned. You are also required to be diplomatic, polite, honest, and understanding. Remember to be decisive and to give specific recommendations rather than general comments. Technical reviews have three components. First, they must be technical, ensuring that the author's technical content is presented as clearly and correctly as possible. Next, they must be substantive, ensuring that the authors have said what they need to say as clearly and correctly as possible. Finally, they should have a creative or organizational component, 
telling authors how and where they might reorganize, expand, or condense their manuscript to produce a more logical progression of ideas or a more effective account of their work. Please note that details related to formatting and grammar will be handled by SPE staff editors. Technical editors must follow specific guidelines for reviewing a paper. It may be helpful to begin by summarizing the paper with an introductory paragraph. Perform an in-depth review and create a numbered list with specific remarks about the paper. If it's apparent that significant editing will not improve the clarity of the paper, then it should be declined. Never reveal your identity by using your name or making personal references. Always write a review in the third person. In addition, never make grammar, figure and table quality, or sentence structure the focus of a review and don't attach handwritten comments with your review. Associate editors also have a set of guidelines to follow when processing papers in peer review. If you are an associate editor, you must evaluate each technical editor's review by rating it for timeliness and quality. Follow the same guidelines as those used by the technical editors for preparing your associate editor review or summary. Refer only to specific remarks by the technical editors do not compile their answers. After you've received two to three reviews, process a paper as soon as is practical. A summary of common ethical issues is included on this slide. As a reviewer, it is your responsibility to follow ethical guidelines and to take note of potential cases of plagiarism. Intentional plagiarism involves verbatim or near verbatim transcription of an already published or submitted work without citation. Unintentional plagiarism, or what might be called citation amnesia, means the author directly lifted information from a source but forgot to cite that source. When necessary, comment on the ethical aspects of a paper. The target should not be the author, but the specific issue raised by the paper. State the problem as a question rather than as an indictment. If originality is a concern, Perhaps the technical editor could ask whether the authors have considered the previous work of specific other authors in their studies. If in doubt, talk to your associate editor for guidance. If you're recommending that a paper be revised, be explicit about the revisions that you expect from the author. The author will be required to document any revisions. The review committee will verify that all required revisions have been made before proceeding further. Should you decide that a paper is not acceptable for publication, provide specific grounds for the rejection. Common reasons for a decline decision including presenting ideas without evidence, unjustified theoretical claims, exaggerated results, lack of importance for the audience, and content that is too commercial in nature. When a paper is declined, the author has the right to submit an appeal request in response to the decline decision. Appeals are handled by the editor-in-chief, and the decision of the editor-in-chief is final. The technical editor score sheet is intended to provide an appropriate framework for evaluating a paper while also ensuring that the author of the paper receives clear, useful feedback on how the decision was reached. The key areas on which a paper is evaluated are originality and significance, technical content, and ease of understanding. A video explaining the score sheet can be found at the following link. You may view some examples of good review comments in the following slide. Should you need any help along the way, multiple resources are available at the following link in the peer-reviewed journals section.